This is your Weather Extreme video for December 25th, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas from all of us at the Weather Extreme video and the AlabamaWX.com blog. Satellite image uh, is a little misleading this morning because we do have uh, some fog that is helping to uh, keep things uh, a little messy across the southeastern United States. And uh, the main storm system, however, as you can see from the weather map, is still out in the uh, central part of the United States, causing a great deal of travel issues uh, across the uh, north central and uh, back into the northern Rockies area. On the uh, 500 millibar chart, you can see that we have ridging, which is helping to keep us mild and well, really warm uh, while we have that big storm system, that, uh, that deep trough over uh, the northern and central uh, Rockies. Temperatures across the country are not that bad for uh, late December. As you can see, there's a wide area across the southern tier of the United States from uh, Texas and eastern New Mexico all the way over to the Carolinas. And it's fairly uh, warm even up into New England where they're above freezing. Uh, the uh, temperatures across central Alabama generally uh, starting out the day in the lower half of the 50s for the most part. And you can see all those uh, fog symbols there. So we do have a good deal of fog going on. Uh, the fog advisory is in effect uh, for much of uh, north and central Alabama. It does not include the Tennessee River Valley and the northeast quadrant or Birmingham. Um, but uh, it does include much of the rest of the state. And that dense fog advisory should uh, um, expire around 9 a.m. as the fog burns off. Big change in the radar since yesterday. As you may recall, we had a good deal of showers and thunderstorms across the area uh, from uh, northeast Texas across Arkansas into west Tennessee, and those uh, showers along that front, that front's dissipated and just washed out. Watch warning map, really messy. Uh, draw your attention once again to the Dakotas. That bright red is actually blizzard warnings. Uh, much of the purple and the pinks that you see are winter weather uh, warnings and or advisories. The grays that you see across much of the southeast and into the mid-Mississippi River Valley, those are dense fog advisories. And those browns out there in uh, western Kansas, the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles, and into northeastern New Mexico, those are high wind warnings. QPF-wise, we're looking at... Uh, uh, over the next five days, we're looking at probably on the order of a half inch with actually probably more realistic expectations is that, is that anyone who gets rain on both Tuesday and Thursday is probably going to get a, uh, less than a half inch and probably less than a quarter of an inch. Storm Prediction Center has uh, uh, just a marginal risk uh, outlook uh, over parts of uh, southeast Nebraska and the eastern uh, two-thirds of Kansas with uh, touching some of those uh, adjoining states. For day two, as the front moves into the southeastern United States uh, late Monday, we have the potential uh, with enough instability that we may hear a little bit of thunder, but no uh, areas of uh, severe weather risk. And day three, there's no severe weather risk as well. All right, the 06 CGFS model run this morning. And there's that big storm system that's creating a lot of rain and snow and ice and just creating a, a mess up there in the north central part of the United States. Uh, that system will move fairly quickly over into uh, southeast Canada, and that will drag a front into our area, uh, but the front not expected to give us a great deal of rain. In the upper atmosphere, we have a strong uh, closed low moving uh, across the, the western Great Lake region and stretching back to another closed low that is off southern uh, California. Uh, that will uh, move the, the surface system up into the western Great Lakes area on Monday, and you can see the front dragging into the lower Mississippi River Valley on Monday. Uh, it looks like with southerly flow increasing across our area, our area, we will have a good chance for some showers. Uh, but uh, once again, showers uh, does not break the drought and uh, doesn't keep us uh, get, get us all wet. The flow goes zonal on Tuesday as that big system moves up uh, into New England uh, and uh, moves away from us. And so we see the front once again uh, drag. Uh, the best chances for rain are going to be in the northern third of the state of Alabama on Tuesday. Uh, but the front will drag down into the area, settle in, and uh, but it's going to be dissipating as it does since all the dynamics are well, well to the north uh, east away from us. That puts the, the flow zonal on Wednesday, so we'll be dry and uh, mild. Uh, we won't be as warm as we have been, but uh, highs probably in the, in the 60s. 
On Thursday, we see the beginnings of a nice trough digging in. So that uh, puts Thursday as a real transition day, and that system's moving very quickly. So we see a front that uh, is likely to be down into our area on Thursday. I think that is also a, a fairly good chance at getting some rain. But once again, it's likely to be showers, and therefore it's not going to be a, a widespread rain event. That system digs in and moves fairly quickly just off the east coast of the U.S. on Friday. By Saturday, that system is long gone, and we're coming back under a ridge once again as we see uh, two, th two features. One is that uh, little weak uh, trough coming out of the Texas panhandle, and then we see another uh, deep trough coming in behind that, uh, and that, that second system is one that's going to come out and uh, potentially bring us some rain. On Saturday, that one uh, small system coming out is likely to produce a low-pressure area over uh, Oklahoma and parts of uh, the Red River Valley of Texas, and that could bring some rain our way. It looks like probably the better chance for rain is going to be to our west. By Sunday, a week from today, we're definitely under a ridge as that one system moves out, but we see the other digging in across the Four Corners area, so it's not going to be coming out immediately, but that uh, sets up a nice southwesterly flow, and that southwesterly flow will be tapping into Pacific Moisture, and so the GFS is fairly bullish, and I hope they're right on uh, putting uh, rain over the southeastern United States, especially over the state of Alabama. Now, we're verging on uh, voodoo country there. So as we move out into voodoo, we see on Monday, January the 2nd, we see that that trough uh, has weakened and that closed low has weakened as it ejects out across the lower Mississippi River Valley. But that certainly uh, could produce some rain for us through the second or so. And then... Uh, Around the 5th, we see that the flow has once again gone zonal, so we'll dry out and um, stay relatively mild. Another system digs in and it could uh, produce another frontal system for us around the 7th. That's Saturday, January the 7th. But once again, quickly uh, that moves off and we go nearly zonal across the southern tier of the country by the 9th. So it looks like the pattern stays fairly active for us. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. Remind you that we're on a one-a-day schedule. <clears throat> I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. God bless.